Good morning guys, welcome to my shed. There's lots of videos on my channel guys, do check them out, lots of helpful advice, please like, share and subscribe. But today we're going to talk about tuning in your carburettor. Cut the things you need to do first. Locate where the air petrol mix screw is on your bike before you mess around doing it else. If you can't locate it, no sense in starting is there. On Peugeot Speed Fights, they're capped off. But generally, illustration purposes, there is your idle, that up and down moves this little bit up and down inside here, okay? The higher this gets, the more revs you're gonna get out of it, okay? This here, normally located underneath to the left or right is your air petromix screw. Standard setting, three half turns. Why do I say three half? Because you can't rotate your arm properly 360 degrees. That's why I say half turns. So it's one half turn, two, and then three. Okay, and there's your standard setting I will adjust this. This was 10 out. That's way too far. So you just go out half, half, and half. Before you play with this, before you touch this, write down somewhere how many half turns you took it in or out to start, okay? I always wind them all the way in. I know it's four half turns, five half turns. And if you muck it up, you get it wrong, put it back to where it was, let the engine run for a little while, and you'll settle down. After adjusting, each time you adjust, you've got to let the bike run itself in again. So 30 seconds worth. So here's my top tips today. First, get the bike warm. Okay, if it's not running well, then hold the throttle open until she gets warm. The reason being, that will take the auto choke off or manual choke and she's running well. Then, after you located it, and on this one it was easy, this was on a speed fight. Look at the size of that bugger. Massive. Anyway, there you go again, nice and easy. There is your idle. And here, down to the bottom, I say it's always somewhere around here, will be your air petromix screw. When cleaning the car brow, take it out. But remember where it was, okay? So you took the bottom off, you spoiled the bottom when you're cleaning it, you took everything out you can. Remember, take pictures, do what you need to do before you start. Otherwise, it's just a mess, isn't it? Anyway, going back to my little one. Nice and easy, three half turns in. Um, all the way in, should I say, three half turns out. Start the bike back up. And what you're aiming for is when you open the throttle, if you just all that sort of rubbish, you're aiming for this to plateau out somewhere, nice tone. You've got two ways of doing it. Start the bike up, adjust the there, start the bike up, full revs, uh, don't sound right, turn the bike off, adjust again. Or, if you're clever, start the bike up, full revs, and adjust it while you're doing it. Now, that will take around about 15 seconds to come through, and you'll hear the bike plateau again. So what you're aiming for now, what I did with this one, is I changed the rollers, and that gave me eight miles an hour extra, which is brilliant. But I could feel it, you know, a little bit, now, it's all stands as I said before, so it's just a matter now of adjusting a little bit. One half turn, so it's at, this is at four half turns now, and I just found it so much better. So it will help starting as well. Now, this is cold, okay? I'll be chained. You might notice, well, you won't notice, I did about four other ones for this already, I keep getting it wrong. Anyway, now, you can adjust the uh, high one. Just for illustration again, I've just adjusted the iron slightly more now. But what you're aiming for when you rev them up is a nice... nice tone to it okay it's constant there's no spluttering up and down and once you're warmed up you're ready to do that remember either have the back wheel free okay or put little blocks underneath if the back wheel isn't free otherwise you're just not going to get anywhere you're going to burn your belt out just run off down the road and so on knowing that i had the back wheel free on the back of the shed here meant that it can spin round and then road test it okay this now is perfect at four half turns um, I've already rode up and down the road, and now it really is nice. It's 40, a little bit more actually, 41-ish. Um, um, I was quite happy with that. But that's how to tune your carburetor, guys. You've cleaned it, take it off, monitor where, find out where your air petrol mix screw is, if you're going to take it and clean it. Three and a half turns is your base, okay? And as I said, either A, start it each time, or rev it up. Now, you can get a screwdriver. I could have been full rev, but I did on this one, full rev and I adjusted it, waited 15, 20 seconds, and I heard it purr. If you're turning it on and off all the time, a bit more harder to do. Watch this little bit now of how I did the variator. 
Um, I thought I was clever with the washer, but I said the variator and the, the actual clutch is like this. When I took the washer out originally, I moved it slightly back. Well, of course, you've got the Bendix here and it was tapping against it. Now I had to push it forward by moving the washer. On the speed fights, just chuck the washer out. A lot of our bikes, you've got to look where they are. Take pictures, guys, of what you're doing before you do it. It really will help and it'll stop you, you know, angering yourself, as it were, driving yourself mad. Anyway, I'll do a quick review of this outside now, just to give you a quick little picture of a little Piaggio zip. Go from there, guys. Okay, quick important update, guys. After cleaning it, nice dry rag, here I'm comboing, okay? So it's one in here, and the heavy one in the next one, okay? So it's light, heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy. Now, I did say throw this washer away. Forget that idea. You have to put it on the back side here, okay, guys, because it brings the whole variator out. Because when this one goes on, okay, it has to miss this. So when you took the washer and threw it away, like I did a minute ago, it pushed it too far back and it was rubbing. So move from the front to the back, so then you got more tighter on the old variator. That's the idea. Anyway, now let's get on with this. There we go, guys. Piaggio zip. Just on the back end of this, I know. But they are 50cc, they are air cooled, a couple of gallons ish in there, eight, nine litres, something like that. Um, really dark, good master gallon. So, this is box standard, standard exhaust there, little tyres, easy to get hold of. They've got a little bit of luggage here at the front. Okay, nice and easy. Steering lock as usual. Dash, very, very basic. No petrol gauge, a bit annoying. You've just got your start, indicators, and horn. This front headlight, though, I have to say, is brilliant. Really does light the road up. A lot of bikes are quite poor. Indicators are fine on this. Dual shock at the front, single shock at the back, electric start and kick start, which I think is handy. Nice new shock. Indicators in the back, two indicator bulbs. That's really handy, that is. Got to get your key out under here. You're not going to fit a full face helmet in there, but you may pop down the shops and get a pint of milk and a small loaf of bread. There's your petrol, there's your 2 2 oil. Watch my videos, guy, about quality 2 2 oil. There's loads of videos out there. But there's a basic quick look at a zip. Very low, I'm honest with you. Not like the other little red little Chinese bike I recently did. They are a little bit taller, but again, perfect size, 5'2", five, 5'3", five, something like that. You can sit on this still quite comfortably. Um, you're not going to be very comfortable if you're 5'11", something like that, get a bigger bike. But there you go, guys, nice and simple. There's a little a couple of videos around the outside of this one, guys. Please like, subscribe, watch them as well and they'll uh, get you on the road and hopefully keep you safe on the road. There you go, guys.